Hi. Now, this is just a follow up to the previous video where I was showing you how we differentiate powers of sine and cosine. And what I've got here is a couple more examples which are based on the power of tangent and in this example based on the power of sec. We've got in the first one y equals 4 tan to the power 5 of 3x and y equals 5 all divided by sec cubed of 7x. Now we're going to use the chain rule to differentiate these and you might in fact want to just pause the video and have a go yourself if you've watched the previous tutorial because the methods are virtually exactly the same. So just give you a moment to do that and when you come back you might want to fast forward just to check your answers against mine. But I'm going to take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for y equals 4 tan to the power 5 of 3x, what I'd want to do first of all is just rewrite this or at least think about it as 4 times all of the tan of the angle 3x and that is all raised then to the power 5. And you might be able to do this straight off in your head but essentially I'd be letting t equal the tan of 3x. So that what I've got then is that therefore y will equal 4t to the power 5. So for the chain rule we're going to need dy by dt. So dy by dt would equal, if we differentiate this with respect to t, 20t to the power 4. Now if you were going to differentiate this straight off without necessarily writing this out, hopefully you would have thought this out as dy by dx then equals dy by dt. So I nominated t to be tan 3x, so I've got y equals 4t to the power 5, and so therefore dy by dt would be 20t to the power 4, t being the tan 3x. So just put that in brackets there, and that's raised all to the power 4. Now I'd need to multiply it by dt by dx, differentiate the thing that I called t, and I called t tan 3x. Now to differentiate tan 3x, if you looked at the earlier tutorials, I showed you that differentiating this you'd need to use the chain rule again, where we let t equal 3x. Not this t here necessarily, okay? So we've got tan of t to differentiate, and that would be sec squared t. So that would be sec squared of what we nominated t to be, which would be 3x. And then I'd multiply it by the differential of what I called t. t was now the 3x, so that's going to be 3. So hope you got that. It's almost like a double dose of the chain rule. It's just a question of tidying this up now. So you've got the 20 times the 3 here is 60 and I could write tan to the power 4 of 3x and that's multiplied by sec squared of 3x. And there you go. Now for this next one, y equals 5 all over sec cubed 7x. What I'd want to do is think of this then as 5 all divided by, and for sec cubed, that's going to be 1 over cos cubed. Cos cubed of 7x. Now, if I was to multiply top and bottom of the fraction by cos cubed 7x, then this is going to go out and it just becomes simply 5, let's just move that 5 over, 5 times all of cos of 7x and that will be all cubed. Alright, so when it comes to differentiating this with respect to the chain rule, dy by dx would be equal to dy by dt. Now I'd call t the 7x. 
This time I won't write this in at this stage. Just let's just think it out. So I've got y equals 5t cubed. Differentiate that with respect to t, dy by dt there. We're going to get 15t squared. t then was the cosine of 7x. So I'll just put that in square brackets, the cosine of 7x, and that would be all squared. 15t squared then. Now I have to multiply it by the differential of what I called t. t was the cosine of 7x. So to differentiate that, I've got to use the chain rule again. So I now nominate t to be the 7x. So I've got the cosine of t. Differential of cosine of t is going to be minus sine t. So I multiply that with minus sine of what I now call t, which was the 7x. Okay. And I now have to multiply it by the differential of what I called t. My new t was 7x. And if I differentiate that with respect to x, you just get 7. Okay. So that's just doing it straight off. Just to recap, what I did there was I let t equal the cosine of 7x. So I had y equals 5t cubed. And so when I wanted to do dy by dt, dy by dt was 15t squared. That was that bit there, okay? And so then I went on to differentiate what I called t. t was the cosine of 7x. So I had to use the chain rule again. And I then nominated t to be the 7x part. So I had to differentiate the cosine of t, which was minus sine of t, t being the 7x. Then I have to multiply it by the differential the new t with respect to x. The new t was the 7x. Differentiate it with respect to x, and it gave me 7. Okay? So it's just a question now of tidying this one up. And for this one, we've got a negative overall. And 15 times the 7 is 105. So you've got minus 105. And then cosine squared of 7x from this part here and then sine of 7x. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea now then on how to use the chain rule when it comes to differentiating powers of trigonometric functions.